In this lesson, we're going to cover modeling complex geometry in Open Studio within Google SketchUp. I picked a more modern type church with a universal design. We're going to cover a few steps of modeling complex geometry that are typical to churches, but as well as other buildings. Toggling to the completed geometry, we'll take a look at this so that we can better understand what we're intending to model as we go along. Notice from the Google SketchUp diagram and the Google overhead view, we did not align this perfect because we were trying to limit the number of vertices that we had here, which we should understand why in a few minutes. First thing we're going to do is the typical pitched roof that you often see in a church and this is on this front block here. First thing we have to do is we have to make sure we're working in Open Studio and not in SketchUp. So we double click on this zone. We want to make sure nothing is highlighted. We're going to take the push pull tool and raise this two feet in this case. You can see that I entered the distance in the lower right. And if we orbit, we can see that that was raised. And now we'll draw the midpoint. Notice we still have not exited out of the Open Studio program. And it says on edge, and that's good. And what we want to do now is we want to go and select this move tool. And we want this midpoint highlighted. And then we left click and we start to move it, and we have trouble here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll orbit. And we're still having trouble. So the trick is that we want to hit the Alt key. And now we can bring this up. It says it's on the blue axis. The blue axis is the vertical axis. And we can see in the lower left how high we are raising this. Notice when we start to see these odd numbers, it's because we're no longer on the blue axis. And we're actually not raising this vertically. We're moving this horizontally. Um, and that would be bad. So we want to uh, move this on the blue axis. We can actually hold the Shift key. If I hold the shift key, I can move this approximately where it needs to go. And then we can type in the official number and hit enter. And there we have a typical double sloped roof that you often see on a church or even a house. What's more complex is in this particular church, we have this dome with a steeple in the center. So the dome scales up gradually. And then we have that scale into a steeple. So the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to see the overhead view. We have the image from Google Earth. And we're going to go into x-ray mode. And so we can see that there's this slanted wall up into what amounts to a slanted steeple. And what we need to do is we don't actually need to draw all of these lines from every vertex. We actually just need to pick uh, two or three of them. The first thing we want to do again is to select this zone. And you can see we have it selected and we're working in the Open Studio framework. We can see through here, and we just want to find the center point. And we'll draw, we'll pick a few of these corners. We don't need to draw all of them, as you'll see in a moment. And I guess the center point, but in reality, you'd want to do something probably more accurate. And you would need to use some trigonometry here to figure out the slope of this first roof. But right here, what essentially we're modeling is somewhat of a dome. And now we'll go to the Move tool. And you can see it appeared that we were raising this, but as I scale, we're actually just moving this kind of erratically. So again, we'll hit the Alt key. And boom, you can see that we're moving on the blue axis because it automatically started to create the other facets of the building. 
right there. We want it where it says on the blue axis. And we'd have to do the trigonometry right, but we will just assume that this is 30 feet. And now what we can do, we didn't have to draw all of the lines before. And when you're setting this up, you notice there was more vertices in the image below that we could have drawn, but you can see that that would make the next step very cumbersome. And now what we need to do is we want to look at this straight on, and so we can look at the standard view from the top, and we can kind of guess at where this other steeple starts. And we have to go from every line or this will not work. it won't snap properly you often just have to zoom in a little notice when I zoom it's actually getting the parallax effect, but that's okay because this will still work. For demonstration purposes, we want this point to be on that point for certain. And now we have this other semicircle, circular thing here. And what we can do is we can take this endpoint and move it up again. We want to make sure we're on the blue axis. You can see because of the dimensional nature of this that when it appears we're moving up we're actually not so we want to hit the alt key again and that just helps us toggle I'm gonna move us a little bit and now we're on the blue axis up another 30 feet and that's actually where we want to be And finally, this particular church, the steeple does not come to a point. And at this part of the design, you could deem that this was good enough, but uh, to just cover the advanced geometry, but we can do one more time, and you can see why now we didn't want to model every single vertex around this. Otherwise, we would have a lot of different roofs. Each one of these segments will be considered a roof. We want to go from point to point. And again, I'm not doing this per any dimensions. In reality, you could. You can see here, I did make a mistake. I snapped to the wrong line. I'm going to delete that. With the eraser. We probably should turn off the x-ray mode at this point. And there's a slight slope. We want to finally close the polygon here. And I may have made a mistake, but we'll check by using this move tool and this time you can see it looks like we're moving this downward and again it just doing something odd 
And right there it said we were on the blue axis. So I'm going to hit the shift key. And we're just going to try to get this. We can make it concave, actually. We want to make it this approximately flat. And from here, when we got into our other model, we could delete these surfaces and just ignore them, or we could keep them as they were. If we had our measurements perfect, this would ultimately be a flat surface, and we could delete these and then add a flat roof here. But uh, this is how we would model some advanced geometry. If there's a cross on top of the church, I don't think that most people would worry about the heat transfer effects of that, as far as I know. But at this point, we would have a pretty successful geometry of a modern type steepled church. Thanks for watching.